Hello everyone. In this slide, I will talk about the quantum clearing attacks on AES like hashing with low quantum random access memory. It is a joint work of Xiao Yangdong, Si Wei Sun, Dan Ping Shi, Fei Gao, and Xiao Yun Wang, Lei Hu. This talk has really passed. First, uh, I will give some Uh, I will give some reviews on uh, quantum capabilities and settings. Uh, suppose we are attacking a block cipher. We have two models, Q1 model and Q2 model. In Q1 model, one collects queries in classical ways online and do the computations offline on quantum computers. In Q2 model, one collects quantum superposition queries. For block ciphers, it's hard to make superposition queries on online Oracle. Therefore, QE, Q1 model is more practical. However, for hash functions, there is no K in the Oracle. Hence, uh, we can implement it in quantum circuit and make superposition queries with easy. In this paper, we are talking about quantum collision attacks on hash functions. Therefore, we have to understand the generic uh, clear attacks on hash functions in different settings. Currently, there are three settings. The first setting is that we have small computers uh, and large QRAM. In this setting, we have the best generic uh, quantum attack with BHT algorithm. The time and capacity and the size of QRAM are both, are both to to and uh, and device ray. In the second setting, we have as a uh, quantum of classical computers. The best algorithm is a uh, parallel row algorithm with this time capacity. Compact. And the third setting, uh, we have small quantum computers and large. Uh, classical memory. The best generic attack is given by CNS algorithm. The most important feature of quantum computation is that we can make superposition queries on quantum, uh, quantum oracle. Given a blank function f, the superposition oracle f is the unitary transformation of uh, uf sending y to y plus fx uf uh, can x on a uh, superposition states linearly just like this uh, given a search space of 2 to n elements say there is only one x uh, that makes fx equal to 1 we are finding the, uh, the x. In classical setting, we require, uh, we require about 2 to n, and in quantum setting, grow algorithm need only square root of that complexity. Quantum random access memory is the quantum analog of the classical random access memory. It can pick out the superposition states uh, from the superposition addresses. However, it is unknown how a Q, uh, QRAM is built. A QRAM of size n uh, can be simulated by n qubits, hence, QRAM is very expensive and the tax with low QRAM is more practical. AES like hashing. Uh, is built on AES-like uh, block ciphers. The most popular way uh, to build compression functions are DM, MMO, and MP constructions. In this paper, we focus on MMO and MP uh, constructions. Rebound attack uh, is introduced by Mendo at FSE 2009. It has two phases by dividing the cipher into two paths, inbound path and outbound path. Inbound path uh, 
uh, uses a match in the middle method to generate starting points. Outbound path is to compute in both sides. If the probability of the outbound path is PR, then we have to collect one divide PR starting points in the inbound phase. Here is an example. Uh, on the four round whirlpool, we have to collect uh, 2 to 120 starting points to, gener uh, to get a collision. Later, Gilbert and Penryn uh, introduced the superbox uh, technique to improve the re rebound attack. It covers two S-box layers uh, in the inbound phase uh, with a 2-2-32 memory complex. At Eurocrypt 2020, Kausalamada and Sasaki convert the rebound attack into a quantum one. In classical setting, we have to collect one divide PR starting points to perform the attack in order to, be, uh, to be better than burst attack. One divide PR how to be smaller than two two and divide two. However, Hasamada and Sasaki find that in quantum setting we are applying we are applying rule algorithm to reduce the time compl uh, complexity to square root of one. Therefore, to be better than BHT, uh, PR has to be larger than uh, two two minus two n divided three. They claim that trials uh, that cannot be used in classical rebound attack may work in quantum setting. Moreover, they convert uh, the super superbox technique into quantum one. They find a new trail. Uh, they find a new trail to perform the quantum rebound attack. They achieve two attacks. The first is the uh, with large QRAM, and the second is without QRAM. They claim that uh, their attacks are no better than CS attack. Uh, then, when large classic memory is available. The complexity of thin S is about 2 to uh, 51. In this paper, um, we replace the full super S box with non full super S box technique. Uh, with non full super S box, uh, super box uh, technique, we only need to traverse uh, the first byte OB to find a pair that conforming the chocolate differential. We also use Grover algorithm to accelerate it. Uh, therefore, we get new trial to perform the quantum collision attacks. In this part, uh, the non foo uh, super S box technique is applied. And the outbound probability is also 2 to minus 8. Uh, note that there are only uh, 2256 starting point uh, provided by 13 and 13 out. Uh, however, we need 2218 to generate the clearance tags. So we need additional uh, degrees of freedom, uh, which uh, it can be achieved by a two block, uh, two block method uh, to provide enough freedom degrees. Uh, at last, uh, we give uh, quantum attacks uh, without, uh, without QRAM, which is uh, much better than uh, the CNS collision attacks. Uh, we also applied our 
uh, algorithm uh, to growth to uh, for growth to uh, 512 we find new uh, paths inbound paths to perform the tags at last uh, we give uh, four round and five round classical attacks which is better than uh, previous three round attacks and also we convert the uh, rebound attack uh, into column attacks uh, in Q model one uh, we need 2 to 16 uh, quantum memory quantum memory and then uh, the second model, uh, we don't need QRAM, and uh, the time com complexity is better than CNS attack. In addition, we also attack growth to 256. Thank you very much.